Hi guys, so things are finally outside and I thought I'd show you what I'm going to be working with until maybe October or November of this year. It's just where things grow outside. So I have a cheap little 6x8 greenhouse from Harbor Freight. It was 300 or so. And I also have 40% shade cloth on the greenhouse. Now, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I thought that 40% shade cloth might be too much light on the orchids, but I think they're doing fine. There isn't any major burning yet, so I'm fine. You know, there's one or two plants that have a little bit of burning on the tips of their leaves, but nothing really past that. And then over here, I have my old shade cloth, which is like 75% or something. It really lets in almost no light, uh, just because this, this shade cloth wasn't big enough to cover the whole greenhouse. Now, if we go in the greenhouse, you'll see I have three fans. I might add a fourth. Uh, either in the middle right there or over here But this big box fan pretty much gets everything and I just turned them off so I could film this video because they're they're really loud uh, Yeah, so I have these three fans and How things are set up in my greenhouse is I have cinder blocks Let's see And they hold up these like um, White coat rack Things I don't know how to explain them. They a lot of people have them on the top of their closet and That's just where I sit my plants on but so i just want to show you guys like the setup and everything and i have these vents open i also took out the back of my greenhouse see there's like these polycarbonate panels i took out the back one the very big one back here because i think it lets in a lot more air and if things ever heat up a lot in the summer it really lets a lot of that heat out but i thought i'd show you guys that my setup just in case anyone wanted to know what i'm gonna be growing in this uh, spring summer part of the fall But nothing in here is really that organized. I have the oncidiums right here. I have um, a brassavola and dosa up here stanhopia um, Maxillaria and then I just have a lot of cattleyas and cichlias then dendrobiums over here and My big vanilla vine now also I want to talk about this vanilla vine because I really never get it give it any kind of appreciation But I am proud of it um, so I got it October of 2018, but it, it, it doesn't grow inside. It stops all of its new growth. So I'll show you. See, they, they were growing up here and here, but it kills those off in winter for some reason inside. So it really only grows in the summer and it started pushing out a new, new growth right there. There's probably another one down here somewhere, but so yeah, pretty much one growing season. It grew from up here all the way up there. So it, grew, it grows a lot, <laughs> but uh, I have another insect there right here. Then I have the catacetums. Well, some of them, most of them are inside, which I'll actually show you that setup too. So I think that's important to show. Um, but first I'm gonna show everything outside. Yeah, the catacetums, then catlias that I really wanna keep an eye on right there. And then I have like the specialty shelf, which is just all the fun plants, like Kysis and Graecum, Phragmopidium, some Maxillarias, have the Sarcochylus and the Neophanesia falcata, some Bidium back there. Uh, and then right here I have my big Dendrobium nobly, my Schomburkia right there, and another Encyclia tempensis, which is just a division of the one hanging up over there. Uh, yeah, but the Catacetums are really going to fill this thing up. You know, it's going to take up all of this shelving, really, on the right side when everything is outside, but a lot of things are inside right now. Now, I also want to show you what it's like with all the fans on, just because it really blows a lot. And I just want to show you guys what that looks like. Okay, yeah, so it's loud. And I just wanted to show you how loud and windy it is in here. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I can't film with the fan on, just because it... You really... I don't know if you can hear me or not. If you can, that's great. But I think I'm still going to turn it off when I film in here, which is probably going to be where I'm filming most of my videos from now on, just letting you know. I mean until fall <laughs> okay guys so also i have three vandas one of which is kind of a big disappointment but we're not going to talk about that um yeah so i have three vandas and I, they're gonna hang this summer in my willow tree so i have a big old willow tree in my backyard <laughs> yeah uh i'm gonna hang them in this tree because i don't really have room in the greenhouse for them and they still get a lot of light out here it's probably like 50 50 dappled sunlight i don't know if you can tell or not but here's a, a Vando stylus 
uh, like a semi or quarter to reet vanda, which it keeps bending over all of its leaves every time it makes a new leaf. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that, but most of them die when it does that. So it's kind of annoying. And then over here, I have my garbage no ID vanda. And when I say garbage, it's not like me making fun of it. I mean, I literally dug it out of the garbage. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, these are my three vandas just hanging up in the tree. And I hope it's enough sunlight. Also, I water them every day. I water uh, these every day. I also missed my greenhouse just once or twice a day. Uh, I just go in there with the hose and just mist everything down. So that's really fun. Now I'm gonna show you the inside little terrarium thing that I made. Here's just my sad little indoor, uh, like cool orchid grower area. So uh, really the only thing that's gonna stay in here indefinitely is the Mastavalia back there. And I also got a Yurikon Rothschiliana right there. And then also I feel like a lot of the smaller seedlings are gonna stay in here just cause it, it's really humid in there and it probably helps them out to have a lot of humidity and just a lot of airflow, that little fan up there. But um, it, it's nothing fancy or anything. And it, honestly, I need to fix the light too. The light is back here, it needs to be out in the middle. So I need to put something to hang the light on from, but yeah, I just have the catasteums in here to help them get their roots started. And the cool growers are in here because they can't be outside because it gets hot. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much just everything where all my plants are going to be. So I thought I'd show you guys just because, you know, in case anyone was curious of where I was growing my plants instead of just hopping right into the videos for the summer. <laughs> okay, bye guys. I'll see you in the next one.